All right, so like I said, tonight we just need two sets of weights, a lighter set and a heavier set. I have my 10s and 15s, so hopefully that's a good choice. <laughs> it might be a little heavy on the 15s, but we'll see how it goes. Um, we're gonna start with a kind of a yoga flow to warm up. Then we have um, some big, we have four big sets of work that we're gonna work through, um, including, um, oh no, I'm sorry, three big sets of work. There we go. And then we'll do a big stretch at the end. So that's kind of where we're going. So go ahead and start at the end of your mat. And we're just gonna hinge at our hips here. We do this all the time to start out with. It just feels so good at the end of the day to just tip over. We're gonna walk out into a downward facing dog. Spread our hands shoulder distance apart, hips nice and high. And hang out here for just a moment. Now from here, I want you to let your heels rest toward the ground. And then we're gonna shoot ourselves forward, lower our hips, bending our elbows, and then lift up. So I just want you to work through those two positions. For about five repetitions. So rock back, downward facing dog, hold as long as you need to. And if you want to stay with me, you can. Just drop the knees, lift, and feel a nice stretch through the front of the body. And then rock back again. Good. Each time you go, just feeling your body get a little bit more limber. Wiggling those shoulders away from the ears. Feels so good at the end of the day to stretch. I love it. Don't do enough of it, but I'm going to do it tonight. Let's get one more in. Roll forward, bend the elbows, and lift. And then rock back. Walk your hands back towards your feet. I want you to hang out here for just a moment, just in a forward fold. Let your hands rest wherever they can touch. And then bend both knees, roll yourself slowly up, and we're gonna bring our feet together, okay? Pretty close to each other. In fact, you can let them touch if you want to. And just take it into a chair position. So our hips are down low, our arms are reaching nice and long past our ears. A lot of times our arms are kind of wonky because our shoulder flexibility isn't great. So if you need to have your, your arms in front, great. Otherwise, all the way up. And from here, we're gonna take this into a low lunge. So you're gonna take your right leg back, Drop into a low lunge, hold, and then rotate toward your left leg. Bring it back down, step your back foot in, come right back into that chair position, hold. And we're gonna go to the other side. So you're gonna lunge back with your left leg and hold it here, knee over the ankle. Rotate towards your right leg. And then bring it back in, let's step back into that chair, go again, hold here for a moment. And right leg goes back and rotate. Good. Step in and sink right back into your chair again. Legs should be feeling warm and lunge back, other leg. As soon as you're there, just find that rotation and step it back in. We are going to do one more on each side. So lunge back and rotate. Bring it in, step the foot in, back to your nice chair position, and step back, lunge, and then rotate. We're gonna take this from the very top here in just a moment. So go ahead and come back to a nice chair position. And if you, depending where you're at on your mat, you may need to step back a little bit. We're gonna stand up nice and tall, lift up and back, and then hinge forward, walk out into our downward facing dog. So rock back. We're gonna roll forward onto our toes, bend our knees, lift up, and tuck our toes. This time you're gonna walk your hands all the way back towards your feet, and hang here for a moment. Sink into a chair, and now take your right leg back behind, lunge, and rotate, and back into a chair, hold. Left leg back, and rotate. And bring it right back to center. And we're going to come all the way up at the top, lift up and back. And we'll do it one more time. So hinge forward at the hips, walk out to a downward facing dog, and roll forward onto your toes. Bend your knees, bend your elbows, and pull your shoulders away from your ears. Good. Tuck your toes, rock back, hands to your feet, walk them back, hang for a moment, and bend your knees, roll yourself up. Big stretch at the top, sink into a chair, hold, and right leg back, low lunge, and then rotate. And step it back in, 
and chair. Low lunge, other side. And then rotate. Great work. And bring it back in, hold. And all the way up and back and release. You have one more layer that we're gonna put into that. So this time we're gonna take it into a three-legged dog. So hinge forward, rock out, walk that into a downward facing dog. This time you're gonna lift one leg up off of the ground. Hold it there for a moment. Continue to press your chest back and then roll forward and bring your knee in between your hands and press back. We're gonna do five on this side before we come up. Good job. A modification if you need it is to be on your hands and knees and then just press back and then bring it in. Okay, let's do one more time right here. And bring that leg down to the ground. Walk your hands back to your feet. Good job. And bend the knees, roll up. Take a big stretch at the top. And we'll go right back down again and hit that other side. So downward facing dog, lift the other leg up. Continue to drop your heel to the ground. And then roll forward to a plank, bring your knee in and press back. Good job. Five times your pace. Maybe you need to do three, that's fine. Great, let's do one more here. And then we'll take it from the very top. So set that foot down, walk your hands back to your feet, bend your knees, roll yourself all the way up, wipe off the sweat, and then hinge forward, walk back out again, downward facing dog, this is the down dog, up dog from the very beginning. So roll forward, bend your knees, lift through the chest, and tuck your toes. Walk your hands back, taking a moment to pause right here and hang, and then drop into a chair position. Right leg goes back, low lunge, and rotate, opening up through that chest, back down into your chair position, hold, and lunge back, and other side. And step back in, bring it all the way up, up and back. Ah, oh, let's tip forward at the hips and go into our three-legged dog. You've just got one on each side. So rock back, lift your leg up, bring the knee in, press it up, set that foot down, switch to the other side, bring it in, and lift, foot down, walk your hands back to your feet, and we will finish with our arms up over our head, and press your hands away, and relax. All right, so shake it all out. Whew. What now here? We're gonna move into our functional warm-up phase, where we can go through some similar patterns that you're gonna see in the workout tonight, and then we'll get to the workout, all right? So that feels good. All right, so first thing you're gonna do is take a kickstand lunge position. So, Time us on this one. We are gonna go 30 seconds on each leg. Okay, and here's what that looks like. So one foot back behind, a little kickstand, arms are by your side. You're gonna hinge at your hip, flat back, and you're gonna swing your arms all the way up without arching. You're just gonna bring your arms right by your ears and then hinge back down again. Okay, so we're working on the extension and flexion of the shoulder along with <coughs> the warming through the hip flexors, or I'm sorry, the hamstrings. And here we go, three, two, one, right leg back, and we hinge, it's not about how fast we go, it's really about mobilizing the body. So it's very, very lightweight on those back toes. Good, keep it coming. You're putting a little pressure in your front heel, so you can start to engage that hamstring better. And now think about squeezing through your upper back as you bring your arms up. And done, good. Stay here for a moment, just take a little stretch. Bring your hands behind, good. Take your arms forward and back. Just kind of stretch it out. We're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So now your left toes are back and hinge at the hip all the way up. Good, and as your arms are coming up, don't be afraid to push your arms back. Just don't arch through the low back. 
Nice job. Keeping in mind that your low back is flat, not rounded here. Nice work. Let's get one more big one in right here. Maybe two. And release. Good. Take those hands behind once again. This time, roll your shoulders. A couple big shoulder rolls. It's kind of hard with the hands behind your back. And then again, cross your arms forward and back. And we are moving on. So this next one is a rotational hip pivot. We did this, I think, I don't know, a few days ago. But all I want you to do is just knee in and back to center, knee in, back to center. So your, your stabilizing foot stays put, okay? Just in, rotate in, center, rotate in, without the whole hip girdle moving, all right? So if you don't feel it, okay, go slow, just go slow in and then go slow in on the other side. Sometimes if you're on sticky ground, it's hard to do, but you wanna think about kind of like wearing down, okay, the ball of your foot. Like if you have brand new shoes, you're just wearing down that tread. Let's go. So hips in, hips in, arms are on front. Just alternate sides. I know it's that hip, that internal hip rotation that's kind of challenging. Yeah, you can see from the side, but. You're gonna need this later on because we're gonna add weight and force to it. And time is up, good. So real easy, just some knee circles around. Okay, opening the hips now. And go to the other side, little knee circles. Nothing too crazy. All right, moving on, okay? Moving on, Oops, sorry, let's pause that for a moment. Arms are gonna go all the way up in a nice I shape, okay, if you were like the capital I, and then you're gonna press your arms out to the side in a T, back to an I, and I want you to reach your fingertips down your back, okay? So I want you to do this without rounding forward. So if you can't go very far, just go to your neck, go as far down as you can. So that's your, that's your pattern. Ready, set, here we go. I, open out T, I again, and reach down the back. Again, I, and T, I, reach down the back. You are waking up your upper body, shoulders, back, neck, okay? Feels so good, maybe it doesn't, but it will, it will feel better on your muscles when you start working. Perfect. And you've got one more time here, and done. All right, so moving on, last one here, guys. We're gonna just hinge at our side. So you're gonna take your feet hip distance apart, just bend to one side, come back to center, bend to the other side, and here we go. Begin. This is just a slow movement. Good. Side to side bends. Try to keep those elbows wide. That doesn't feel good on your back. Don't go down very far. Just a little bit of movement through the trunk. That if you want, and I did slide to you. I have one more warm up exercise for you after this, and time is up. All right, next up, you're gonna take your hands low and then you're gonna take them high. Then you're gonna take them low and high again. A little bit more of that hip mobility here, okay? So low and high, ready, set, and begin. Reach and then bring it down, but we're not wrapping around, we're just using that hip to help move our body. Again, we are gonna do some of this movement with weight and even going overhead if we want to. So, always good to warm it up. Okay, I wanna see those knees, that knee pivoting in, rolling through the ball of the foot. And you've got one more and done. Good, just some shoulder rolls, nice mobility here. You can punch them out a little bit. I know it feels kind of funny, but you know, we get locked into position just by being in our daily mode. Let's get ready for the other side. So again, we pivot on our toes, reach up, and then come back down. Pivot, and really try to move in that hip joint. Again, arms are just going right up over the shoulder. Okay, you don't have to reach so far. Feeling some Movement through the trunk as well. And you've got one more time. Nope, two more times, sorry. And we are done. Good. All you're gonna do now 
and just roll that head around. So just let it roll around. Ah. And just take it at your own pace. There's areas that are really tight from bad sleep or <laughs> tense day. Just stay there. And then take your head up and down. So bring it up, chin up. And then head down without rolling forward. Do it again. Head up, chin up. You're going to stretch the front of the neck. And then head down one more time. And head up. And roll it down. Good. Okay. We're ready to rock. So here's what we're going to need. Heavy weight first. All right. So you're going to load up one side of your body here. And we're going to work on kind of this in unstable, in an unstable position. We're going to work on the anterior rotation. We're not going to let our body either rotate or bend laterally. Okay. So I want you to load up your weight. Just kind of hold it right above your shoulder. I have my 15 right here. I'm going to put on my right side of my body. And then I'm going to be stepping back into a lunge, slow lunge down, and then I'm going to come back up. Okay. If that's not heavy enough and you can grab more weight, do it. You can also kind of hover that weight above the shoulder to make it more challenging. So it is 45 seconds on one side and then 45 on the other. So it is a long set. So if you need to take breaks, feel free to do that. Here we go. Three, two, one. Right side has the weight, left side, slow lunge, and then push off your front leg. Just take your time here. These are real slow moves. I have a special treat coming for you at the at the end of this exercise. These exercises on each side. Something new I've kind of learned and I want to play around with a little bit. We're gonna go slow. Good, keep it coming. You want to feel that pressure through the front heel as you drive forward, not in the knee. You might feel your body wants to tip one side or the other. Don't let it happen. Squeeze the abdominals. Woo! And done. All right, easy peasy, right? Kick those heels up, give it a little breather. And we're gonna just do the exact same thing on the other side, okay? So weight it up. This time it's on your left side. You're ready to lunge to the back nice and slow. Here we go. It's like three counts down. And then bring it up. Again, square off your body so that you're looking forward. And taking your time. You're going to build a lot of muscle in that time under tension. A lot of strength and stability for the core. Nice work. You are more than halfway. That is the good news. Starting to feel my hips working in that front leg. Stabilizing muscles here. And time is up right there. All right, you're gonna set your weight down on this next one. Now if we do this and you get going, you're like, man, this is way too easy, then here's the deal. You have the option to pick it back up. But what we're gonna do is go slow motion. You're gonna do five counts down and five counts up. And you're not gonna release tension at any time. So, we're gonna go for 45 seconds on one leg and 45 seconds on the other leg. It doesn't sound like very long, but trust me. Here we go. Right leg back, fingers behind your ears. Slow down. Five, four, three, two, one. Now slowly return back up. Five, four, three, but I want you to keep a softness in your knee at the top. Hold and do it again. Five counts down. And slow it back up, five. Good, this time I want you to go all the way down, five counts down. Now listen, you're gonna take five counts to come halfway up, five, four, three, two, one. Go all the way back down, five, four, three, two. Now take five counts to come all the way up. Easy, easy does it. And not so bad, we're gonna step forward. We're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Now. The first rat time we do this, it's going to be five. The next time you do it, it's going to be 10. So that was kind of just a preview. Coming attractions. Here we go. Left leg back, elbows wide. Five counts down, nice and slow. Five, four, three. Go as low as you can go. And then return trip. Five. Woo. Do it again. So there's no momentum here at all. Just using purely muscular strength. All the way up, five. That resistance on the way up is tough. This time all the way down, five counts. Now hold in the bottom, five counts to come halfway up. Five, four, three, 
four, three, two, one, all the way down, five, four, three, two, one, now slowly up, all the way up for five counts, four, three, two, one, you're not done, you have three seconds left, return trip right back down, and hold, good, kick those heels up, whew, that's just a little cherry on top for our lunges, but like I said, we're going to come back to those in a little bit, next up, we're going to hit the core, you're going to use one weight, you're going to be in a plank position on the mat, so knees or toes, the goal is that your feet are hip distance, try not to go much wider. You're gonna set the weight off to the side. You're gonna reach underneath, move it to the side, set your hand down, and switch. It's not about speed, it's about keeping your body, the front of your body pointing toward the mat. Okay, that is the goal here the entire time. Ready, weight to one side, you're gonna reach under your body, set, and go. Reach under. Your goal is stabilization and not letting your body rotate here. Anti-rotation. You need to go to your knees. Okay, keep your hips tucked. And again, not letting the hips move side to side. Also, great shoulder stability exercise. And you want to work harder with this. All you have to do is move your weight further away from your body so that you have to reach without twisting to get that weight. Woo! You could also pick up a heavier weight, and that would make this more challenging as well, right? Come on. One more time, and done. All right, I want you to sit here for a moment, kneel, and lift up your arms, take a little breather. We're going to bring it into a cardio set next, so come to your feet, please. You're going to do a kettlebell swing, okay, two times, and one squat thrust. So I do your heavier weight. You're gonna do two kettlebell swings, nice and snappy. Set the weight down, nice deep squat. Jump back, jump in, and then pick it back up, right? You got one minute on this one. So, use this. If you don't wanna do the full squat thrust, just do a squat, touch it down, and then come back up. Here we go. Two kettlebell swings, and then squat thrust, or just squat, your choice. Right back up, two swings. Big squat. So even if you're not jumping back, you're still lowering your hips. Nice and deep to set that weight down with control. Woo. Feeling it? Right here, feeling that cardio. Heart rate's coming up. You are halfway. If you don't have a big heavy weight, then just use two light weights to add to the intensity. Great job, you have eight seconds left. I think we can get this combo in one more time. And done. Whew. Full recovery right here, 30 seconds. Take a breather. All right, we're gonna try that all over one more time. So starting with the weighted back stepping lunge, give our arms a little breather. All right, you need your weight once again, your heavy weight, and you're getting ready to rock this. Right leg forward, left leg back, and begin. Wrong weight, slow down, three counts down, quick up. And you can stay here static or you can pop forward into a more dynamic lunge if you want to. As long as your front knee is tracking towards your toes, you're good to go. Good, so maybe you feel those lunges from the last set. Legs are starting to get a little tired. Good news. Start to feel the core work as you have to stabilize and not rock side to side. And almost there, give me one more, one more. Right here, nice slow lunge, and done. Whew. Switch the weight to the other side. Looking good. So bring it up, it rests right above the shoulder or even on the shoulder a little bit. Get ready to go. Three, two, one, here we go. Back stepping lunge, slow, and big step up. Belly button points forward. We 
Think about your knees. Are they feeling any pain? Are they in the right position to help prevent pain? Okay, they should be behind the knee or behind the toe as you lunge down and bending in the back as you go down. Great job. Also work in balance. We all need that all the time. Woo! Got to be almost there. You can do this. And time is up. All right, we're moving into that slow motion drill. This time, you're gonna do 10 counts um, all the way down, 10 counts all the way up. Do not rush this. Stay in the fight. I know it's hard. Right leg back, fingers behind your ears. Tuck the hips, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, go slower. Six, five, four, three, two, hold and slow back up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, I'm going too fast, four, three, two, go down again, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, keep going, four, three, two, slow it back up, 10 seconds up, woo, we felt that one a little bit differently, didn't we, and three, two, one, and done, step it in, woo, shake out those legs, Get ready for the other side. Take the leg, step it back. Here we go. Slow down. Ten, nine, whew, five, four, three, two, one. Slow back up. Come on, dig through that front heel. You can do this. Feel your entire leg working to get you up and down. And you're taking that return trip right here. Don't take a break at the top. Chest still stays up. Get ready for that final return trip right here. 10 seconds and it's up. Legs should be shaking a little bit. Five, four, three, two, one. Somehow we have extra time. I counted too fast. You're going right back down. And hold and done. Whew. All right, kick your heels up. Guess what? We're not done. You have two kettlebell swings. So you're grabbing your heavier weight. Two kettlebell swings, one squat thrust. And we're off right here. Let's go. Swing for two. Squat down. Don't drop your weight. And kick back. Let's do it again. Swing for two. Squat down. Now, when you go back into that plank, you've got to control the movement. Your core is tight. Brace. Don't let your low back sway. In fact, it's better for better form to walk back and walk in if you feel like your low back is taking the load. Solid, squat, rise. Keep going, 20 seconds left. We've got this. And get two more sets in. I know we can. And last set right here. It's two. And one squat thrust. And done. Whew. All right. Take a breather, man. Whew, that was good. Get a drink of water. All right, up next. Rotational clean. You need one weight. We're going to practice this. You can use your light weight first. We're going to practice it. And then if it feels good, you can use heavier weight. So feet are hip distance apart, weight is by your side. So have your weight in your right hand. You're gonna pivot your right, on your right foot. So your knee and your hip of your right leg go towards the midline of the body. It looks like this. You're gonna pivot down, okay? Pivot down, and then you're gonna rack that weight up and hold it right here. You're gonna feel your back working, okay? So you're gonna pivot down, the other leg doesn't move, and then rack and hold. Pivot and rack. Okay, so your other leg is stabilizing you. Don't let it turn in and out while you're doing this because that's gonna change how much rotation, true rotation you're getting in your hip. So it's down and then up and then down. If that feels okay and you wanna go heavier, please feel free to do that. You've got 45 seconds on the clock here for one side. Ready, set and begin, okay? So we rotate in. 
and we clean it up. You should feel your obliques. You should feel your back. You should feel your hips. <sighs> we're trying not to lean forward. We're not, we're not rolling down. Okay, we're just letting that weight hang down and we fire it back up. <sighs> I know your other leg wants to move. Mine does too. <sighs> Slight hinge at the hips, not in the low back. <sighs> We can do it with five seconds left. I don't know about you, but my whole right side is tired. And done. Okay, same thing, other side. Whew. Try it out maybe one time real quick. Okay, before we start the timer, feet hip distance are a little wider. Drop the knee in, hinge at your hips, and fire it up. Here we go. Drop it down. Are you pivoting on that left toe? Okay, are you feeling the movement in the hip of your left leg? I know it's kind of an awkward move, but we've got to start training our hips. I'm learning so much about this. We've got to have the range of motion and the strength and the flexibility to go in and out with our hips. Good job. Again, you can drop weight at any time. Almost there. Three seconds left. Come on, one more rep. And done. All right. We are going to hit a slow motion move here. It's not going to be in the rotational aspect at all. It's going to be a deadlift. So I want you to go heavy with your weights. Really heavy with the weights. Both feet are going to be firmly planted. Shoulders are back. You're going to go five counts down to the knees and use your hamstrings. And then five counts right back up. That same pattern as we did before. 45 seconds on the clock. Heavy weights. Shoulders back. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Slow back up. Five. So that anytime this bothers your low back, you've got to grab lower weights. But I want you to keep feeling that pinch between the shoulder blades. Good job. Keep going. Five counts down. Now we're going to come halfway up on this next one. Ready? Five, four, Three, two, one, go right back down. Five, four, three, two, we're going all the way up. Five, four, three, two, one, one more time, all the way down. Five, four, three, two, one, slow it all the way back up. I know that was our timer, but we're finishing up right at the top. Good. Set those weights down. We move into a core set next. So, we are gonna do a side plank, okay? So come down to the ground, no weight. <clears throat> You're gonna be on one elbow, okay? On one knee on the bottom, and we're gonna lift our hips up, off the ground. We're gonna lift our top leg up, lower down, and then lower the hips down. All right, so hips come up, leg lifts, down and down. So work on some core stability, 45 seconds on one side. Here we go. Lift your hips up. Lift your leg. Lower your leg and lower the hips down. Do it again. Up. It's not very fast intentionally. And we're trying to keep our hips stacked and not rotate here. Fight that urge. Nice job. Nice job. Keep coming. Okay, so working all through the side of our body, especially on that, the lower half of the body here. That's where you should be feeling this, along with the hip on that top leg. This one always burns more than I think it's going to. And let's get one more. We have time for one more rep. And now, unfortunately, we have the other side to do. So flip end to end, and let's get ready for that other side. Whew. Elbow underneath the shoulder, bottom knee on the ground. Okay, make sure you have room to move. And let's lift our hips first. Lift the leg, lower, and come right back down. Again, up. I don't know about you, but I'm starting to feel my legs. Okay, the muscles in my legs be a little bit sore from previous sets of work. I like that feeling. Hope you do too. Taking it slow, you've got 20 seconds left. 
Feel your oblique, feel them on both sides, working hard. Final eight seconds right here, you got it. Lift up. And last one, we are gonna come to our feet. We're gonna hit the cardio next for a full minute. So whew, bring yourself up. Here's what it looks like. Fast feet, one, two, three, four. Drop into a squat and hold, okay? And you're gonna come right out of that and go to the next one. So four on each side, one, two, three, four. Drop and hold, and then right back at it. Here we go, three, two, one. One, two, three, four. Drop and hold, do it again, okay? As you drop and hold, your butt is dropping, not your upper body. So we're not rounding. One, two, three, four, hold. Good job. And if you don't wanna jog, you can just pop your heels off the ground, keep the toes planted, and then drop down and hold. Whew. I'd like it if your feet were a little bit wider than hips in this position here. So we can get through our hips and our thighs. Come on. Remember, this is cardio. I want those big muscles working. I want that heart rate coming up. You want to work harder on this one. You're going to jump into a squat and hold. Jump into a squat, hold. Try not to bounce. Just lock it down. Five seconds to go. And come on, let's get that final one in right here. And done. Oh. All right, we're moving back to the beginning. We have the rotational clean. Now, if you want to, we're gonna add a press. Here's what it looks like. Okay, so we've done the clean, so we're gonna rotate, okay? And then we're gonna fire it up. We're gonna rotate down and fire it up. Just like a regular clean and press, your weight travels in the same plane, okay? Think about you're between two glasses of, or two panes of glass. You go out in front, you're gonna knock the glass. So drop and fire it up, hold, okay? I'm gonna use a slightly lighter weight than my 15s on this one because I know I wanna keep my back safe. So here we go. Three, two, one. So we drop that knee down, clean, press it up, hold. Again, slow, quick up, hold. In a way, it's kinda of like a snatch, isn't it? We just drive it up. The line of our body, if you feel your back tweaking at all, squeeze your abdominals tighter or don't go overhead. Come on, use those hips. Use that supporting leg to lock you in place. So only one side of the body is working. And five seconds more. And this is it. Done. Woo, shake out that arm. That was good stuff right there. All right, let's try the other one. Practice round first, plant your feet, roll your shoulders back, remember, pivot in, and then drive it up. Pivot down, here's our real deal, let's go. Timer's going, pivot and drive. Pivot, remember, that opposite hip tries not to move. Good to work new muscle groups that we haven't really focused on in the past. Makes us stronger on all fronts. Protects us when we get in positions that we don't need to be in. Come on, 15 seconds, it goes fast. I wanna use a little extra power. Exhale up, inhale down, exhale up. One more time, you got it. And done. Woo. Set that weight down. Heavy weight, slow motion, deadlift. We're going 10 counts down, 10 counts up. Be mindful of your back. If 10 isn't good for you, do five. All right, heels under hips. Let's go, 10, nine, barely moving. It's really the shoulder blades pulling together to keep your chest proud. Three, two, one. Engage your back of your legs, let's go up, 10. Nine, eight, slow and steady. Four, three, two, not all the way up. A little bend in the knees. Let's go right back down. Ten, nine, eight. Come on, shoulder blades, squeeze them tighter. Tuck your chin in. Three, two, 
one, bite it back up, 10 counts, come on. Slow, 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 feel your hammies. Feel them engage. Five, four, three, two, and one and done. All right, set it down. I felt my back on that one right through the middle. Hope you did. Fast feet, squat hold. One minute on the clock. Let me change this timer. No weights needed. Get ready, get set, fast feet, go. And drop hold. We're first gonna just do it where we just sit into the squat. Chest is up, hands are up. Good, as soon as we hit that halfway point, you got the challenge to jump into your squat. Sweat is dripping like crazy. I hope it's dripping from you too. Now think about it. squeeze the abdominals as you, as you move your feet. Here comes that next layer. Jump and hold. Jump and hold. Come on, it's just a little bit of a bounce. Pop. Woo! Almost there. I need 10 more seconds from you. You can do this. Okay, you don't have to jump. You just have to keep moving to the end. Just have to keep going. Get one more time in right here. And hold, 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 hold. Done. <sighs> Kick your heels up. We are cruising, guys. We only have 15 minutes left of this workout. Okay? That's it. We are going to move into a weighted bent knee deadlift, which is kind of similar to a squat. We're gonna hold the weight on one side of our body. So we really have to work not to lean to that side. Okay, so one weight only, heavy weight, slow down, quick up. Three counts down, one count up, feet wider than hips. We'll do both sides. We are only gonna do this round one time through instead of repeating because we won't have time. And I want you to get a good stretch. All right. Here we go, 45 seconds. Weight on your right side, shoulders pulled together. Slow down, three, two, one, quick up. So you are really pushing your butt back, okay? It's like a squat, but it's also like a deadlift. Kind of a mix between the two. Your back stays flat, you do hinge a little bit. Like you're picking up something real heavy off the ground and it's firing back up. I guess you're like you're lowering it down and then picking it back up, right? Come on, you've got it. I, as I'm getting tired, my arm wants to lag a little bit and go a little further down. I'm not gonna let it. Okay, if you can see from this side, you might see that the right side wants to lean. And done. Whew, all right. Let's try out that other side, shall we? Yeah, move your head around, wiggle your shoulders, brace the core nice and tight. Let that weight pull the tension out of your ears. Here we go. Three, two, one, fire it back up. Come on, you got this. Chin tucked in, but not necessarily resting on your chest, just hold in. Think about what's going on with your knees. They're tracking in line with your toes. They're not wiggling in and out. Feel your back working to stabilize you. Come on, 15 seconds. You won't have to do this exercise again. So close, so close. Let's get one more rep. One more rep. And done. All right. Because we are only doing this round one time with our squats, we're going to do 10 seconds. Here's where I need you to go. Feet just slightly wider than hips, arms out in front. We're gonna go to our deepest range in our squat, 10 counts down. Here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, lower, six, chest up, three, two, stay down. Now 10 counts back up, 10, nine, don't go anywhere, eight, seven, six, low, five, four, knees are soft at the top, we're not coming out of this position, two, one, right back down, 10, nine, eight, seven, slower, six, five, four, three, two, you're gonna come halfway up, okay? Five counts up, two, three, four, five, five counts right back down, 
Now I want you to take it slow. We're gonna run out of time, but I want you to take 10 counts on the way up. Here you go, 10, nine, eight, come on, seven, dig your heels in, five, four, three, two, one, and done. Whew. All right, pause. <clears throat> Kick your heels up. Hopefully that topped it off for you with the squats, okay? We're gonna use one weight for some rotational movement. Now we did a lot of anti-rotation this time. I do want you to rotate. We are gonna take our, our hips and move them side to side, okay, twisting through the trunk. So here's what it looks like. You're gonna bring your weight to the side. Your feet are planted, weight to the side, to the front, to the side, to the front. If you need to do this without weight, hands only is fine, but the rotation happens under the rib cage. If you remember, it's like a 30 degree rotation and a 30 degree rotation, it's really small. 45 seconds, let's begin. Squeeze your abdominal tight, bend your knees and go. Exhale, twist, inhale back up. If you need to modify, you can also bend your elbows, shorten up the lever, and just right by your hip pockets. Keep your feet on the ground, please, and keep this tight and small rotations. Come on, should be feeling it by now. 10 seconds left. We're gonna finish with cardio, and then we're gonna stretch. Three, two, one, and done. Whew. All right, this next one, cardio. Four high knees, up top, four, three, Two, one, you're gonna drop down. And four, three, two, one. If dropping down isn't a good fit for you, you're gonna drop down to a chair or table and you're gonna do it like that instead, okay? So, four on top, bilateral, four down low, bilateral. One minute to complete. Ready, set, go. Four, three, two, one, drop down. Mountain climbers, four, three, two, one, get back up. Come on, four. Right back down. Come on, fast feet. It's okay to modify taking the jumps out if you need to. Slowing down those mountain climbers a little bit, but then get right back into it if you can. Four. Our knees are going to start wanting to stay lower and lower every time we get them up. So, hip height every single time. Woo! Drive those knees right into your chest. And this is it. Done. Oh man, walk it out. Woo! You did it. The hard stuff's over. All right, now it's all about stretching, lengthening, flexibility for this last 10 minutes, nine minutes. So, take a drink of water. We're gonna start standing. Woo. All right, so. Roll those shoulders a little bit. Keep your knees soft. We're going to go back to a little bit of neck mobility here. So just drop the head to one side. If you feel any pinching at all, just don't go very far. And then drop your chin down in the middle. And then over to the other side. Whew. Right back down the middle. And then just up. And again, we're going to bring our chin up. It looks funny, but it feels good. This time, I want you to bring your chin down to your chest and then just look over at your armpit. Look over at your armpit. It's a little bit deeper stretch. Bring it right back down the center and over to the other armpit. And right back through the middle and up. Again, chin comes up. Ah, okay, we're gonna take it right back down that same position, armpit. This time, remember this one, we put our, our finger to our, our two fingers to our chin. We push our chin back. Good. 
and then roll it to the other side. Push your chin back. And then take a look to the right side and a look to the left. And good. Breathing should come down at that point. We're going to take both feet forward right underneath our hips. We're going to take a step back with your right leg. I want you to straighten your left leg here. So we're going to begin by just hinging over at our hips. Now, if that's too long of a stance and you don't feel like you can hinge without bending your leg, you can bring your back leg in a little bit. But really, whatever is comfortable for you, I want you to hinge here, flat back. Try to put both heels to the ground. Reach your arms nice and long out in front of you. Good job. Then you're going to bend your back or bend your front knee. We're going to rotate so that our, our front arm okay, is right there on the inside of our front foot. And maybe it's just an elbow. Maybe it's not the hand all the way down. Hold. And we're going to come back to that first position. So. Straighten both legs, flat back, hold here, and then bend your front leg, same arm as front leg, just comes to the inside, and we rotate and hold. Great job. Rotate back down to the center, take both hands on your front leg, and take your back toes and just turn them out about a quarter turn, okay, and maybe hop your front leg forward a little bit. We're going to go into a little, little bit of a warrior series here. So I want you to open out to the side here. Again, quarter turn with that foot. So hips are open, hips are square to the front. We're gonna lean forward over that front leg and then reach up and back. Good, keeping your front knee bent. We're gonna reach forward again, reach forward again. So both arms straight, reach forward and then lift up and back. Nice reverse warrior here. And one more time, reach it forward, and then lift up and back. Great work. All right, you're gonna pivot on your back toes so that they again face the front toes. This time we're gonna tuck our back knee under, lower all the way down to the mat, release your back toes, stay here for a moment, and then lift both arms up and back, letting your hips kind of sink down a little bit, no longer at a 90-90. Letting those hips slowly move down. And tip all the way forward. Both hands come to the ground. We're going to take our back toes to the ground and straighten out that back leg. All right, from here, drop the back knee to the ground. You're going to rock onto the outside of your front foot. So just getting in through those hips a little bit. If it doesn't feel good, don't do it. You're rocking on the outside of your front foot. Great work. And release. Good. Lift up your back knee. Hop that foot in so that you're now have both feet on the ground again and rise all the way up. Take your hands to your hips. Just lift up and back. And we're going to step our other leg back behind us. Like we're on railroad tracks again. Straighten both legs. Hinge forward at our hips. And reach both arms out and hold here. Great job. Bend your front knee and then you're going to rotate so that the same hand as front leg goes to the inside of the foot. Back leg stays straight. And then return to that first position. Legs are straight, hips are up and back. And bend the knee again. It doesn't have to look pretty. Don't worry about that. Just Work your flexibility level. And come right back to the center. Hands on your knees. Back foot turns a quarter turn. I'm going to turn so that I'm not have my butt facing you. But we're in that warrior stance again. Quarter turn. Arms are out. We're going to reach past our bent knee. Reach. And then just flow up and over. And again, your front knee or your bent knee stays bent. And then reach it out again. Slide and lift. And one more time here. Slide it over and lift. Going a little further on that last one. And then rotate and pivot back towards your front foot. All the toes facing the same direction. Bend your knee. Drop into that lunge. Both arms 
them up and back. Whew. And then gradually lower yourself down, releasing your toes. And now I want you to just let your hips get heavy and sink down. So your front knee still lines over your heel. Both hands come to the ground and we will lift up our back knee, stay there for a moment and release it down. Rock to the outside of your front foot as much as feels good for you. It's ankle and hip mobility. Great work. Plant that foot right back down. We're gonna actually gonna stay down so you can bring your front leg and bring it back to your back knee. Sit back into a child's pose and walk your hands to the left side and your hips to the right side. Let your head just hang between your hands or even rest on your mat. And then walk your hands to the other side and your hips in the opposite direction. Again, let your head hang so your neck gets a break. And we'll come back to the center. This time I want you to bring your elbows to the mat. You're gonna stay here in a child's pose. You can take your knees wider if you want to. And just bring your, your hands together kind of in a prayer position and just let your hands go right behind your head like if you had a ponytail like I do just right tuck under the ponytail and we're letting our elbows sink into the ground you're going to feel this down your lats down your back even into your triceps taking one more deep breath and a big exhale and then plant your hands on the ground, walk them underneath your shoulders. And I want you to exhale as you round your back. And inhale as you lift your tailbone. And exhale around, separate your rib cage. And one more time here, inhale, release. And we will take our toes, tuck them underneath, and rock ourselves back. Okay, so maybe you're here, maybe you can get your toes all the way down, but just gradually walk your hands towards your feet and then roll yourself up. Those quads need a little bit of a stretch after all that slow motion work. So bring one foot up behind, lift your other arm up. Ah. And the switch to the other side. Lift up, hold, find that balance. and release and we are done you probably feel amazing and glad you guys finished with me <laughs> good job thanks sarah we will not be getting on and off the toilet tomorrow <laughs> yeah I know, right <laughs> um quick thing here we are going to keep um we're going to keep boot camp exactly how it is right now for october Okay, I know there was like a lot of talk about what the heck we were going to do. So we're going to keep it exactly how it is for October. We're going to reevaluate at the end of October or mid-October, I guess, and just kind of see where we're at with life, with where, what, if we have any restrictions, if we have what weather is looking like, all that kind of stuff. And then we're going to go from there. Um, does that work for you guys? Yeah, that works for me. Okay, good. So September is always the same right now. Sure, sure. We're already in it. But next month we had a lot of talk, and so now we're just going to – Keep it the same. Okay. Does it work for uh, your kid? School and stuff? Yeah, it does. Actually, it's going to work out fine. My only concern is that when the weather gets bad. So I don't want to be rushed when I'm like trying to, you know, yeah, get on the road for um, those days. But as long as, I mean, October is still nice. So I think we're going to be just fine. So yeah. we'll see how it goes. <laughs> okay. We're all on a month to month basis anyways with life right now, it feels like. So <laughs> Yeah. Pretty much. All right. Okay. So just okay. Know, you can plan for that. And then I'll see you guys next week. It'll be our last in, in person week. And then um, Saturday camp is next weekend as well. Okay. So you can come to Saturday camp at eight o'clock if you want to in person. Okay. Get up. <laughs> not this Saturday, next Saturday. It's not that early. Okay. And, um, and then we'll just have active recovery and we'll get back at it again. All right. Thanks. Bye. So good. Bye. To see you. Bye. Perfect.
Okay. Shelly. Mm-hmm.